I wish to show you what can happen to an individual when the arts are supported and extended to those with talent. In doing so, I hope also to showcase that supremely su human side of Utah Valley University that makes this such a special place. At this time, I would like to invite up to the stage recent UVU graduate Inez Harwood. In 2004, Inez, her husband, and two children were in a serious car accident. Their car rolled three times, and in the process, Inez's skull was crushed, resulting in traumatic brain injury. Only after extensive surgery and intense prayers, Inez survived. But doctors gave her only a remote chance of a full recovery. Following the accident, her husband returned to school at UVU. The problem was that because of her injuries, it was not safe or advisable to leave Inez home for very long alone. Consequently, she started to attend classes with her husband, silently sitting in the back of the room. While waiting for him during a ceramics class, she met and frequently chatted with Professor Mark Talbert. Eventually, he asked her, why don't you enroll? She responded that due to her brain injury, from the accident, she was simply not smart enough to attend college. In that classic UVU way, Professor Talbert refused to believe that Inez was incapable of growth and learning and pressed her to reconsider. With that as catalyst, she decided to give it a try and enrolled at UVU. When she started, things were not easy. She basically had to start her education over again. In her first remedial English class, class, she was the only native English speaker, and her math study partner was her young son in public school. But after a while, things started to come back to her, and she transitioned from remedial classes to college classes, matriculating into the Bachelor of Fine Arts program. Before she knew it, and at a very crucial time for her cash-strapped family, she was the recipient of a Starts Art Scholarship a program launched by another UVU student, Julie Pierce, to help non-traditional arts and communication students in need of financial help. This, along with another scholarship earned later and various grants and loans, allowed Inez to continue and persevere through her program to graduation. But it was not just the financial support that made a difference for Inez. It was also through UVU's uniquely supportive environment of faculty who truly care about student success, something that stands at the heart of our mission, that Inez was able to complete her journey at UVU. Due to her many medical problems, she was often in the hospital, and some of her professors came to her hospital room to bring her class finals. The notoriously rigorous Mike Shively would help her study for his courses by playing his guitar and teaching her songs to help her retain the complex subject matter. Another professor used sidewalk chalk to help her study equations. Through her art, Inez found new ways to express herself and communicate. One of her favorite mediums was tie-dye, and she developed a real flair for large-scale projects of vibrant colors and intriguing shapes. While working on a particularly large project, her 11-year-old son asked her why she didn't just go for it and build the largest tie-dye project in the world. Why not set a record? one for the Guinness Book of World Records. She accepted that challenge. In March of this year, she completed her art project simply named Liberty. It broke the world record for tie-dye at over half a mile long and 950 pounds when wet. It required over 300 people to lift it. This project, along with Inez's other artwork, has been shown at the Orem Arts in the Park, Woodbury Arts Museum Studio, Studio 760, and many prominent private collections. Inez graduated this spring with her BFA, but this story, success story does not stop here. During the course of her education at UVU, Inez's mother was so inspired by her daughter that she saw her receive at, U, that she saw her receive at UVU that she enrolled as well. 
in one of the great victory moments of this institution of second chances and unexpected blessings, Inez and her mother graduated side by side last April. I think that's worthy of some applause. I should note that also moved by Inez was her sister and brother-in-law, who enrolled at another university. Thanks to her, Inez's whole family will be first-generation college graduates. As already stressed, Inez's own grit and determination play a central role in this story. So too do the numerous UVU faculty who mentored and taught in such a caring and individualized way. I stand to express our profound appreciation to all of you generous community donors for your support for these gifts that are transforming our world one student at a time. Thank you very, very much.